A new British study has found that mRNA vaccines give the biggest boost to antibody levels to fight COVID-19. It says antibody levels will rise if the vaccine boosters are given 10 to 12 weeks after the second dose. The study found that Pfizer or Moderna gave a strong boost to both antibody and T-cell levels, regardless of which vaccine the person initially received. It also found that six of the seven boosters examined enhanced immunity after initial vaccination with Pfizer-BioNTech's vaccine, while all seven increased immunity when given after two doses of AstraZeneca's vaccine. The studies also shown that any of the approved vaccines at the moment and the Novavax, which might get approval soon, also provide a very significant boost compared to the baseline. And remember, at the baseline, at the beginning of the study in, in June, people who took part in the study were already really well protected. Our United Kingdom Prime Minister Boris Johnson received a booster shot in London as he called for the public to get the third vaccine job. We've done 18.6 million uh, booster jabs in this country, so we're building ever higher the wall of protection. Whatever Omicron may or may not be able to, to do, it certainly will not negate the overall value of the, of the booster. The study named Cov Boost was cited in UK's booster campaigns when Pfizer and Moderna were preferred by British officials in the initial days of the inoculation drive. More than 30 cases of the new Omicron variant have been detected around the UK. In response, the government has moved to make boosters available to all adults, reducing the amount of time recommended between a second dose of a vaccine and a booster shot. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.